don't know who's running the federal government these days, uh, Joe Biden or Prince John uh, from uh, 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 Prince John, but they're taxing us into poverty. Mm. Oops. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna mention uh, some monarch or some prince, you should maybe double check, make sure that that person exists. But who knows? Look, people have been very harsh, very tough on Representative Boebert. It, a little unfair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because uh, there are some Prince Johns out there. Maybe you're the ignorant one. Maybe you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so let's discuss, John. Uh, let's I almost John. certainly don't know what I'm talking about. I would like to be enlightened, though. Well, um, let's let's give you some examples. Like some of these people are not alive anymore and aren't real. Like there we go. There's Prince John from Disney's Robin Hood. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's who she was talking about. Mm -hmm. Looks kind of like Biden. Yeah. Not like any other recent presidents. Well, the, you know, to be fair to her, we don't know who's leading the country. Is it this guy? Is it Prince John from Disney's Robin Hood, or mm -hmm. is it is it Biden? Geppetto? <laughs> is, it, is it the the guy who chained up Dumbo? It could be any any of these characters. There, that was another example. Prince John was actually the fifth son of King George the Fifth. They claim he died in 1919, so it would be hard for him to be leading the country right now. Mm -hmm. um, but he's about to reveal himself, uh, so he. Can be JFK Jr.'s running mate in 2024. It's a pretty good tweet. I, I do yeah. appreciate that. I, he's, he would be a little bit old, but if he's been like taking like a lot of like the Infowars like bone supplements and stuff, maybe he can still rule for a bit. Maybe. But John, I think what she was really referring to was the Prince of TYT, Prince John. There he is. <sighs> It's a nice crown for a prince, honestly. I'll it take is. it. it okay, is. so now we understand what that's about. Thank you for that. I love. You didn't connect the dots. I don't look particularly happy to but, be prince. I mean, duh, you're a prince. Like prince, princes never look happy. It's like being VP. It's like, what real power <laughs> do you have, honestly? Um, thank you for that. That you is weirdos. the. That is the, like nonstop expression on Putin's face. By the way. <laughs> I don't think, you know, people have speculated that he's had like a lot of Botox and stuff. I'm not sure that he can emote much more than he does. <laughs> um, but whatever, you know, do you? Yeah. So are you are you leading the country? Is that what's happening? Uh, I, I have checked and it turns out I have actually shockingly little political power or power of any sort actually. <laughs> Um, okay, so she messed up and it's it's funny, especially if you're gonna make your brand to be that you're like the mean girl who can like really like tear into people, which she's never really established herself to be, but she clearly thinks that she is. So your inability to deliver a line uh, like that undercuts your brand slightly. Honestly, the fact that she got flustered a bit, that happens. But even that is undercut by the fact that she clearly planned to say that. That's a line that she thought up beforehand. And the issue then is, if all that you're delivering as a politician is the owning the lips, it's the supposedly witty little lines, the jokes, the insults, the petty stuff. If that's all that you have, don't you need to have that at some point? Like your whole job is to, like with many hosts on cable news, is to go on there and read your lines. You're like Jenk always says, you're a news robot. You're mm -hmm. an actor, basically. You're not there for your smarts, clearly. That's not what you were chosen for. It's true of Sean Hannity. It's true for many of these politicians, too. So at some point, if she can't even do that, why is she as successful as she is? Why doesn't some other like wackadoo Republican just primary or beater who's a little bit better at delivering the only thing the right seems to care about, which is casual insults in lieu of any substantive solutions to problems. I just feel like voters in her district are okay with having insanely low expectations. But are Republicans not disappointed by that? I mean, John. imagine if AOC had done that, how much the right would be would be mocking that. I mean, if Ilhan Omar had done that. They went after AOC for like going to college and appearing in a dance, a fun dance video that she did with her classmates. Like, yeah, that's and she stuck all the moves, by the way. She did. She didn't flub she nailed those. It. She nailed it. No, I mean, like, but you're right. I mean, the laziness of these grifters is mm -hmm. what always gets to me, right? Like, in this context, we're talking about a politician has no interest in legislating, has no interest in actually um, carrying out policy that would fulfill the needs of her constituents. Everything is just a theater. Everything's just a show. And so if that's what you're devoted to, if that's what your role is in this whole dystopian political climate, like can you just try a little bit harder, mm -hmm. right? Like maybe find some like 
Did she practice that line in front of a mirror or was like what where did that come from? Just try yeah. like and then you have people like Dave Rubin and it's like we all get that you're dumb. We do. But if you're going to be a grifter for the right as this like why I left the left type guy, you got to like do a tiny bit of research to be able to like even in the most shallow way back up the arguments that you're trying to I, make. They one, just they're lazy. They're one lazy. Would hope. Clearly and, they don't have to. And like th that's the thing that gets to me. The myth of meritocracy in this country. Oh my god. The yeah. myth of hard work. No. By the way, Lauren Boebert, one of the top uh, earners in like in terms of fundraising mm -hmm. for the Republican Party. Dave Rubin, I mean, he bought a five million dollar mansion in Los Angeles. Like, no, no, it's a myth. It's not about hard work. It's not about meritocracy. It's about how shameless you're willing to be in the pursuit of profit, in the pursuit of money. Mm -hmm. That's what this is really about. Yeah, and of course, I mean, on both sides, especially when for Lauren Boebert, we're talking about campaign donations, um, there's massive institutional elite support for this sort of BSery, just stuff that's gonna distract the right, make them never actually demand anything of their politicians. That's always gonna be there. But also, we have to remember that the people that they're trying to appeal to, like there's a reason that Dave Rubin ended up being right wing. He didn't start that way. I'm sure he didn't prefer to be that way. He couldn't make it work in any other field. He tried many other ways. He ended up at the lowest common denominator because those are the only people he could actually fool. It is so easy to win those people over because all they're doing, like the, 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 Charlie Kirks and the Ben Shapiro's, all they're doing is is they're telling people in their audience, you're you're like an a-hole, you're you're worried that you might be an a-hole. That's good. You should be. That's the best part of you. They play to the worst psychological characteristics. They tell people being petty, cruel, selfish, these are all not just okay things, they're the best things. And everyone who disagrees, they're just jealous. Also, you're better than them, so why would you care what they think? It is so easy to win people over when you tell them all of their worst instincts are right. On the left, think about what left media needs to do to get a movement going. We need to tell people to care about everyone. Equally, yep. for the most part, to care about everything, to fight all battles at all times. It's hard intellectually and emotionally. We ask something of people, they don't, they give them, it's it's ideological candy, that's, that's all it a, is. That's a really good point. I like I that try. perspective. No, but, but it's true. I mean, think about how alluring that is. When you have a party that encourages you to not only um, embrace, but to really amplify your worst characteristics mm -hmm. and to be unapologetic about them. Whereas on the left, not only do we ask a lot of people, like, you know, in terms of caring about humanity, wanting to do the right thing, to be, like, we're so tough on each other on the yeah. left, you know? Like, there's no, there, don't get me started with the lack of unity on the left. I mean, it is. Pretty devastating, uh, but yeah, you're right about that. I think that's a good point.